Hello and welcome everyone. This is your Inzam sir. And here you can see the third assignment of class 9 which is for week number 5. Well, your assigned tasks are divided into two parts. One is for grammar and the other one is for formal letter. And the grammar part is focused on active and passive voice, but your homework, that means activity 3 is all about the passive voice. And you have to do it from your English grammar book, which is your board book. And here the assessment criteria is about grammar and spelling. That means the teachers will evaluate your grammar and spelling, right? And the second part is about formal letter. And I believe that you know what is formal letter and what is informal letter. So here the assignment is, suppose you are Lima or Liman. You are a student of class 9 in Sripur Kumaria High School, Sripur. In your school, you don't have any supply of safe drinking water. Now write an application to your head teacher to arrange safe drinking water for the students. And if you uh, look on the assessment criteria, here the teacher will check students' ability to use content, grammar, spelling, punctuation, vocabulary, and communication. Alright? Now we will see the activity three part of page number 183 and 184 from the government book that means English grammar and composition book so here is page number 183 and you can see activity 3 here and it is saying that complete this conversation between two friends using the words after it and the correct passive forms the first one is done for you that means number A is done for you and the conversation starts with Antora. She's saying, Have you seen my recent posts in Facebook? Amy, yes, they are lovely. Where were the photographs taken? Now, this sentence is underlined and it is written in passive voice. If you look closely, where were the photographs taken? So this is in passive voice and you have to write every sentence in passive forms. Then Antora is saying, on my way to Borishal from Dhaka. That means she is answering the question which is asked by Amy, where were the photographs taken? Antora is answering, on my way to Borishal from Dhaka. Amy, okay, and? So here is a gap which you need to fill up, right? Now, um, I won't tell you the answer, but I would give you a clue that you should go through the conversation and guess the question or what is said after that gap. Then you can guess the question or you can guess the sentence. Like here after B, Antora is saying, last week when I went to my cousin's wedding party. So the first question was, where were the photographs taken? Antora was replying, on her way to Borishal from Dhaka. So what should Amy say here in number B? And Antora is answering, last week when I went to my cousin's wedding party. So. I think you have already guessed the question or the sentence. Then number C, Amy. So I didn't know. That means um, that is all about Amy's speech. And in number D, Antura is again answering. So go through the conversation and write every sentence in passive voice. Make sure that your sentences are written in passive voice and if you don't know or if you are not sure then go through passive voice and active voice that means voice chapter again and again. So this is the full conversation. You don't need to write activity 4 only activity 3. 
I would suggest do on your own because this is not a difficult task at all. So good luck to all of you. Take care.